Am I back? Did I do the thing? I swear I had this clipped on a second ago. Can you see me? Can you see my face? Technology. Stop being such a glitch. I know. It's... I mean, I'm streaming from my phone. I'm glad it's at least, like, most... And really, that was my fault. I totally did not charge my... I mean, I usually just have my phone charging. Um, but I had unplugged it to move the cord around the mic and then never plugged it back in. So it was totally my bad um, for forgetting that. But thank you all for your patience. Appreciate you. Um, if you're all still here, for those of you who are still here, let's finish your reading, Spirit. I'm very excited to uh, to hear this. Oh yeah, man, all my phones are dying right now. Um, everything's dying. Using all the batteries. Ah, oh, that's okay. We'll turn that one off. I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna, I don't think we need the light on. No, we're fine. We look fine. Then I can charge my phone. Charge all my phones at once. That was interesting. Yeah, we are back. I know. Can you see me? Wait. Can you see me? Now I'm worried. Now I'm all paranoid from the last time that you guys couldn't see me. Can you hear me? Sound good? Sound good? <laughs> can see? Can hear? <laughs> oh good, so I'm just being a goofball. Perfection. Um... Beautiful. Okay. Mm. So the shaman was the one we just did. We finish reading the shaman card. No, you guys, just, it cut off before that. Okay. I didn't even realize I was so into reading this card. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. If you want me to not read, I will not read. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So this one's uh, trusting our angels, ancestors, guides. Uh, if you have given your power away, claim it back. Okay. Here, yes. The shaman card. Many are working um, as spiritual guides to light workers and light warriors. The shaman card brings the energy of your shaman guides to you. Shamans believed that when there was illness or disease, it was because a person's power had been left behind somewhere, or a negative pattern had been installed or had installed itself within them. In trance, they would travel to the underworld, so in a meditation, meditative state, they would travel to the underworld to recall this power. So you're kind of going back into your past, into your shadow, like ultimate shadow work. Um, to recall this power and remove the demon, which is in quotes, <laughs> not a real demon. If this card comes to you, it's because you need to release some work. You need to do some release work with lower energies or with your lack of trust in the spiritual energies that are guiding you. The shaman will aid you in your quest. Hi, Kata Jelly, thanks for coming back. <laughs> I'm not one of those skeptical types, okay. <laughs> the shaman will aid you in your quest extended message there are spiritual allies working in your favor and when their miracles and their miracles will unfold much more easily when you move into a state of trust so call back your power stop allowing external forces to divert you from all the miracles that you deserve hand over all of your concerns to your spiritual allies when you do so you allow them to send your in to send you intuitive guidance and messages that will allow you to correct the situation and come out on top. The shaman card also shows 
that you have shamanic potential to move between the realms and connect with your guide in an extremely personal way. Well, that's marvelous. So connect to your um, to your guides, to your ancestors. Ask them out loud for help. You know, sometimes we overcomplicate it, but just simply saying to them, uh, "Angels, ancestors, you know, please come to me in this moment. Support me. Um, everyone that is looking out for my highest good, like surround me and uplift me during this challenging time, or see me through this moment in my life." whatever it might be, whatever the case. So here we are with um, the other card that came out, Oracle. Um, and I'm not sure if um, Priestess is going to come back, um, but she did request an Oracle card as well. It's just like lightly snowing outside. <gasps> I'm just melting. It's so beautiful. I love it. Oracle. Be open and receptive to information. Gather facts so that you can make a decision that is in line with your integrity. Hmm. <laughs> Two streams, OMG. <laughs> yeah, I came back. Sorry about that, my phone died there. The Oracle is the truth speaker and insight bringer of this deck. The ancestor who will be your best outspoken girlfriend someone who will tell you exactly what you need to hear to move forward. In this deck, she is reminiscent of the Oracle of Delphi, a psychic priestess of ancient Greece who was able to receive information and make predictions. She holds a bowl that has sacred smoke rising out of it, bringing the message to look beyond all you can see and gather information in order to make an accurate evaluation of your current situation. Angels, ancestors, and the universe are speaking to you at this time. So look and listen for important conversations, signs, and messages that will point you in the right direction. You are being guided to wait for more information before making any fast moves. Because at the moment, you are letting go of your wants. Because at the moment, you are letting go. Of, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Because at the moment, you are letting your wants get in the way of your needs. There is an important opportunity for you to see everything clearly at this time. But you will only be able to do so if you are willing to truly open your eyes. If you have been waiting for further information about a choice you have to make or an action you have to take, don't take, matter, don't take matters into your own hands. But let what needs to be revealed be revealed. Then you'll know what to do next. Angels are supporting you. Trust them. Remind itself to ask help from spirits, guides, angels, etc. To help with healing, releasing, and letting go of the connection that ended as it was already in the process. Yeah, exactly. Lots of healing to do still. Um, yeah, I understand that. Mommy. Yes, love. Mommy. Let it be. Mommy, Let it be. Mommy, mommy. Let it be. Let it be. Whisper words of wisdom. Mommy. Let it be. Where are you going? You're going over? Going me overboard? Mommy. Me, mommy. You're climbing on me, mommy. You get over. Oh. I want over here. Out. Here. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's my hair. Okay. Here. Get your leg up here. Where are you going? You're falling. Here. <laughs> Put your leg up over the shoulder so that you can be on the piggyback side. <laughs> can you see Elin in there? Hello, friends. Stand up, Mama. Stand up, Mommy. <laughs> oh, you're wobbly up there, aren't you? Whoa. Look at you. <laughs> Hold my hands, please. Hold my hands, please. I don't want you to fall backwards. That would hurt a lot. That would hurt both of us a lot. Okay. Here, we're going to 
gonna move this so that you guys can see it. Hello. <laughs> Hold on tight, please. Hold on to mommy right now. Elon, thank you. Say bye bye. Can you wave? Say bye. Ow. Yeah, agreed. Well, my friends, that was fun. He loves that. That was hilarious. He was way up there. That's why we don't do our hair. <laughs> this is why. Um. <laughs> oh, anyway, I felt like that was just a beautiful reading. Um. Let me see. Did I finish this card or did we stop before I finished Oracle? Good, how are you? That is my, here's my microphone. Um, Spirit, I'm sorry, I got distracted there with the Elon, with the Elyster. Um, <laughs> did I finish that last card, that Oracle card? I'm feeling like I should reread the final paragraph for some reason, maybe just for myself. That was a very wholesome read. Very wholesome moments in time. It's nice to be wholesome. Um, uh, angels, ancestors, and the universe are speaking to you at this time. So look and listen for important conversations, signs, and messages that will point you in the right direction. You are being guided to wait for more information before making any fast moves, because at the moment you are letting your wants get in the way of your needs. There is an opportunity for you to see everything clearly at this time, but you will only be able to do so if you are willing to truly open your eyes. If you have been waiting for further information about a choice you have to make or an action you have to take, don't take matters into your own hands, but let what needs to be revealed be revealed. Then you will know what to do next. Angels are supporting you. Trust them. And so the overall message is be open and receptive to information. Gather facts so that you can make a decision that is in line with your integrity. <clears throat> <laughs> oh good, I wanted to reread it. Perfect. Um, oh daddy baby, would you like a card? We are actually, I have them under channel point redemptions. Um, so if you'd like, I would be so happy to read a card for you. I'm going to, um, now that I moved the camera, I am going to turn my light back on because I like the light. I'm here for the light. We're going to change the color. There we are. We back. All right, so we have oracle cards. <gasps> Meta Wave, welcome in. I'm so grateful to meet you. I'm so grateful to meet you in this space. I can't, thank you for subscribing the other day. Um, a couple days ago, that meant the world. I was like, I said it on stream. I was like, oh my gosh, Meta Wave. Yes, did Priestess come back in? That's what I was curious. Oh, Priestess did come back in, didn't she? Oh yes, good, I see the word back. There you are, darling. MetaWave, I'm so grateful to meet you. Um, so grateful to have you here in my stream. Your stream the other night was so, I have no idea, so random for me. I've, I'm never up that late. Woke up in the middle of the night, opened Twitch, jumped into your stream and just like felt so at home during that meditation and have been missing doing my own longer meditations. I've been doing short meditations in the morning. Um, but how peaceful that was to just be there and drop in and 
just sit and enjoy and then to have that lovely conversation as well was just like oh what a great way to wake up <laughs> what a great way to wake up in the middle of the night um yes thank you for this shout out spirit highly recommend if you guys are not following um wonderful streamer yeah it was lovely <laughs> it was great um really just peaceful calm energy you've been meditating um for years you said right i'm trying to remember now um four years ten years i can't remember how long i've been meditating even i might have said four years you might have said 12 years even <laughs> ah yes welcome in I have been trying, I want to stream in the mornings. That's my typical plan is to stream about 9 a.m. Um, but lately I keep finding all these amazing streamers late at night and uh, the energy just keeps me, keeps me there for sure. <laughs> um, 2.5 years, you're, oh, that's what it was. Why was I thinking, that's probably why I was thinking 12 years, 2.5. Um, I've only been meditating daily for a few months now. Mommy, mama. Mommy, mama. You want to piggyback? But I really got into meditation a little bit before this guy was born. So about three years ago now. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, she eating bread. Where are you going? You going back in your bed? He's so high for today. Mama. My co-host. Mama. Can pick you back? Come back. Come here. There you are. Yes. Um. Oh my gosh! Did you just do that to fart on me? That was a big one. Whoosh. Whoa. You going down? No. No. Okay. Okay. All right, we're gonna. You ready to be my co-host? We're gonna. We're gonna say hi to our friends. Yeah, he's very hyper today. He's trying to find no. me. No. <laughs> gotcha. You gotcha. Going on? Look at that triangle. What shape is that? What color is that? <gasps> Watermelon. Yum. Oh. Um, yes, so I've been, it was really, um, I went to an ashram um, in 2017, November 2017. My spiritual journey tends to happen a lot in November. Maybe it might have been September even. No, it couldn't have been. No, I think it was no. Anyway, sometime in the early winter, November, December, something like that. <laughs> I'm so glad. Yeah, he's such a little marvelous being. So we went to an ashram. Um, if you guys know Sadhguru. Um, Hey, honey. No. Don't no. fall, don't fall. Don't fall, don't fall. You look, no. 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 You're going down for real. <laughs> You're going to fall. I know. Watch out for the pumpkins, man. Want some big pumpkins. Oh, my gosh. Look what I found. It's Elon's pumpkin.
pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> yep. can, can you believe it, Bane? Look at that one cute little pumpkin. No, no. 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 Oh, look at what I found. No. <laughs> no. Um. So I went, if you guys know. You're falling in your bottom. Ah! <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I love you. No! You just want a big hug, huh? Me too. You want to come give me a snuggle? Come here. I missed you. I want a big old Elin hug, please. Hey, hey, no screeching, okay. Just give me a little hug. Real hug, get down here. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I love you. Did you get a nap today? Did you nap on the ride, maybe? Did you rap on the nap in the car ride? Did you rap? Did you write us a rap song? What was it about? <laughs> <laughs> tell me your best line. No, tell me your tell me your bars. Show me your bars. <laughs> Buster Rhyme. <laughs> I love you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Priestess. We got we got enough for a, a couple more card readings. He's one of my favorites. Yes, yeah, so I went to his ashram, um, the Isha Center in Tennessee. Um, beautiful. Just such a peaceful, amazing place. Um, of course, it's something that you have to pay for. Um, I'm grateful that my ex paid for um, both of our visits out there for the weekend. Or he paid for my visit and he got to go for free because he had already done the program. That's how it was. Hi, Divine. E-Monster's here. Yeah, we got us an E-Monster. Gave him the big hugs. Lots of big hugs already. My cat is trying to figure out where the child is. <laughs> batting the phone <laughs> shush shush little one. <laughs> oh, that's silly i love that oh my gosh yes also one of my favorite uh, meditation teachers but also i like a lot of his things um a lot you know a lot of things he says that he's funny he's like very um, personable very free very much um ah oh you really bit me are you a pretend a monster? What are you, a dinosaur? Are you a lion? Are you a, what are you, doggy? Are you a doggy? Ah! Are you a little puppy? Are you a puppy? Are you my puppy boy? Are you a puppy boy? Are you a shark dog? Are you a shark dog? <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Um, shark tooth, yeah. Love it. Um, my brain just going a million places except for where it needs to go. Um, great to see you though, Divine. Glad you jumped in here. Glad to have you. So essentially, yes, I went to his ashram. Um, oh yeah, I, I love the things oh, he says. But I do believe that we shouldn't really be charging for these practices. You know, he's like, mommy, all these spiritual teachers mommy, that are like mommy, ultra rich, mommy. it's like, mommy. I don't know y'all. You know, I, there's always just something. I mommy. mean, I love it. I love him. Mommy, I love that he does a lot of good things mommy, with this money. And I definitely don't think we shouldn't, we should be poor. We should all aspire to be rich, spiritual mommy, people. Mommy. Um, baby baba. But we should also be sharing the that knowledge for free. Baba. Darling, yes. Tobot? You gonna watch Tobot? Hi, I'm right here. Yeah, you wanna hold me? This one? Oh, you're scared? Here's one. Where's Elon? Come on. Watch it with me. That was his daddy. Yeah. In the land of fire and... What? It's 
Let's go look at the elephant's one. Octopus. Octonauts. So cool. They're astronauts and they go underwater. So they go into space and they're robots. They're in the big robot machine. Oh, he saves people. Look, he's a pirate. He's an explorer. Elephants. Pandas. All my favorite things. Billy goats. Well, tigers. Spaceship that goes underwater. Look at that bug spaceship. Look at that rocket ship. Whoa. Cool. Whoa. That's awesome. Land of fire and ice. Whoa. Whoa. You like the couch, <laughs> the couch lights. We don't really sit on it. Oh yeah, he, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Whom are we discussing, Sadhguru? Yes, yeah. I do, I love him, I really do. I have so much love for him. I think he's a wonderful teacher. Um, but I do like the idea of sharing knowledge for free. And um, he does have some knowledge for free, um, but um, he also asks, each person not to share the practice and says that you have to go to learn it directly from him that he teaches it in a specific way that only you can learn it only from him um, or one of his like the people who have learned it from him and um, that's the part that was hard for me to accept was like it's very um, exclusive you know uh, I'd rather practice be like the one I learned for energy healing, which is Saima, S-A-I-M-A-A, Saima Diksha, D-I-K-S-H-A. Sweetie, it's okay. Just go watch, change something else. You'll have to fast forward, okay? Um, sorry, my brain keeps getting taken away um, from like in the middle of my thoughts, but um, Sai Ma Diksha essentially is a free energy healing. Yeah, and, uh, and so she teaches, and so it's super, that's super easy. They do that, I had that, I looked it up one night online. It turns out they had a class happening that night in like an hour from when I was looking it up. Um, so I signed up to, to take this class, learned energy healing, and then that's a practice that she wants you to share with other people and um, that you can learn for free and um, share with others easily. So I do love that. Um, and I do love, I love Sadhguru, like, like I said, don't get me wrong by saying that. I just feel like um, it should be as accessible as we can make it to people, you know, help as many people as we can. That should be the goal, not necessarily about making money or having it had to be done a certain way. Um, but he does have a free app. Um, the Sadhguru app is amazing. Um, and then there is, uh, like Spirit said, a bunch of free resources online, which is nice. But, um, but yeah, the practice itself that I learned from that literally took all my stress away. I had no stress. I had no anxiety. I was just freely living in the moment. I was enjoying everything. I was happy all the time. I was peaceful. I was an entirely different being. <laughs> it was, it was life changing. And I just stopped doing it and how ridiculous, but how easy it is once we get back into the matrix, once you step off of that holy ground at the ashram to come back to the real life. I mean, it lasted like maybe a month and I was working a crazy sales job in trying to bring a pizza, a dying pizza place back to life. And, um, and I was, I got pregnant right after that too. <laughs> So it was just, there was so much going on um, that it's so easy to get pulled out of doing these practices. And I haven't even started again. Like, it is like, a, to be fair, it's like an hour long practice in the morning. Um, I'd have to wake up early and do it before Elin got up and um, take an hour at night to do it as well. Um, but to be free of anxiety, to be free of depression, and I assume you get faster at it eventually. Maybe. It's a lot of processes though, and it includes some um, kundalini poses, 
Um, some different movements from Qi Gong, I realize now. Um, it's just like, that's the other thing. The practice that he, his practice um, is like a combination of all these other practices that I've learned now as well. So it's kind of like, you know, we're selling knowledge that's never really ours, right? It's not, it doesn't belong to us. Um, but I digress. I would love to read cards for you though. Priestess. Spirit, I hope that that resonated with you. I felt like those were beautiful cards um, for this moment in your life. Um, and, and I hope they resonated for you too. I'm wondering if I dropped a card. I don't think I did. Nope. Perfect. Well, maybe I did actually. Where's the Oracle card go? Oh, perfect. They're both there. <gasps> Hello, cuddly. Oh my gosh. I was just talking about that stream last night. Oh, I know. That just like made my heart feel so full just reading that. Imagine if you and I and us all were to meditate for an hour every morning and evening for a year, five years, 10, 25 years straight. That is so beautiful. Yes, I was discussing how absolutely amazing um, last night's stream was. I was like, I never stay up that late. I wanted to wake up early and come on here and stream. Um, but that energy last night was so potent. It was like the energy I've been looking for online in a community for so long. That feeling of just like, I literally felt the virtual hug. Like, and it was so crazy because I had my eyes closed like during that whole just like connecting moment. And I had my hands just like this over my heart and I was just feeling it and just smiling, just beaming. And I opened my eyes and see <laughs> CEQ doing the same thing. And I'm just like, yes. And then reading your comments about like, just like giggles, coos. I was like, yes, those are literally the noises I'm making right now. Like, I was just like, oh, oh my goodness, this is so nice. Like, oh, it was just like so beautiful. We all raided there after Cosmic Unwind stream last night and it was absolutely amazing. End result, someone will start floating above the ground from the meditating, precisely. Hopefully all of us. Hopefully that is how we evolve as a species, you know? All of these other us's, these light beings, these whatever you wanna call them in different dimensions, um, these other beings that come from other galaxies, dimensions and beyond, no longer need words. They don't need to communicate the way that we do. They have evolved at such a pace that evolve beyond the need for communication evolve into just a telepathic knowing, a connection, um, evolving beyond the need to be fixed to one physical place. You know, can we even, oh, there are um, just infinite possibilities in this world, possibilities beyond our wildest imagination. Even 50 years ago, the idea of a cell phone was science fiction, and here it is today. I've got three of them within five feet of me. Like, we are video communicating currently around the world. Like, I am live posting this from my living room to you. Like, our energies are so interwoven. Like, there's so much connection. Like, time and space are literally constructs. Like, the whole evolution of every society, hopefully, ever is to evolve beyond the need of a physical body and just to be able to be connections and be connected be all one um, separately and anyway you guys we need to watch <laughs> we need to watch um, close encounters of the fifth kind I know we've heard of the third kind and it's a great movie and we love it um, sci-fi film great one super silly um, but that film was actually based on real government information and documents and like things that are actually happening um 
So the Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind is the documentary film version from people who have worked in the government and, um, and now go on these contact tours where they meditate to get into a state of peace and bliss and connect with these beings from other planets to let them know that we're peaceful, that there is, you know, positive life on this planet, you know, that we are um, evolving beyond, um, you know, the fear-based state of living and to just be here in the moment, enjoy the presence, you know, share unconditional love with each other and and allow each other to grow and evolve past this this fighting and this um you know physical state of being that we're in and just connect on a heart heart to heart level <laughs> you're wonderful <sighs> so that is one of my favorite movies it's on amazon if you have amazon um sorry to plug them here on twitch we don't love Je we don't love jeffy bezos but we do love everyone, so, um, you know, we, um, that is where you can find the movie at this moment in time, um, Amazon Prime Video for free at the moment, um, but I would love to do a, um, a watch party of that and to share it on Discord and to do, like, um, all get together and we can all, I can broadcast it from my screen and then we can all watch it on our own individual devices, which is nice. It's a fun way to, fun way to watch movies together. So we'll have a movie night at some point if you're into aliens. <laughs> if you want to hear about meditation or um, just an interesting perspective on other us's in general. So I'm rambling now. Priestess. <laughs> Hello, priestess. Um, I don't know, priestess, are you feeling the um, angels and ancestors or the starseed cards? Ramble on. Thank you, Soul Whisperer. It's a great movie. You've seen it. It's one of my favorites. I've watched it at least three times now. Ramble on. Sing me a song. Mm. Starseed. Hilarious. I literally put the angels and ancestors down and just had three of three cards for you pop out. So love these. The first one, the seven star sisters. Let's see if I Turn this down so you can hopefully see it a little better. Gotta get that sweet spot. Seven star sisters. I'm like, will it focus if I touch the screen? Seven, seven Star Sisters, Birthing Creations, Tapestry of Life, Expression. I'm going to read these. I got three cards for you, but I'm going to read them one at a time. And I'm going to go, go grab my phone charger because I don't want any devices to die in the meantime. When I was in there, I just looked at the screen to see kind of what it looks like because I've got Stream Manager open in there. I love this background. I am totally feeling it. With the snow falling in the background, it's so peaceful. This is literally the cozy corner. I kind of want to change my name on, in, um, on Twitch because I don't know if I want to blast my real name everywhere. My real name is really Carly. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Um, and I'd rather be Cosmic 
something else. <laughs> so let me know if you have any ideas. Alu, hello. I'm like, I can't read my chat. My chat is not very easy to see. Cozy Cosmic, that's kind of what I was thinking. Cozy Cosmic, Cozy Cosmic Corner or something like that, or Cosmic's Cozy Corner, something like that. Seven Star Sisters. Like I said, we'll read these. Seven Star Sisters, A New Earth was the next card that came out. I'm gonna show you all these because they're beautiful. A New Earth and Star Ancestors. good to see you I'm glad you're here star ancestors hidden secrets lost wisdom look a little deeper all right start here with the seven star sisters open right to it there are new creations that want to be born beauty that's yearning to be woven. I'm glad to see you. I'm doing well. I hope you are also talking today. We've been talking for a while. We'll turn up the brightness so y'all can see me a bit. Rainbow cosmic, cosmic rainbow, cosmic sunflower. That's so cute. <laughs> love that. Um, I love that a lot. New consciousness that's longing to be breathed into life. If you draw this card, you're being called to surrender to these creations, to usher in a new era of consciousness and do your bit in weaving the web of life. This is the card of the artist and the midwife. You're being called to ponder questions. I'm stretching, I'm like going back and forth. I, I like to rock while I talk. Um, didn't mean to rhyme there. Okay, where was I? The card of the artist and the midwife, you're being called to ponder questions. What wants to be birthed through you? What new creations are whispering in your ear? What beauty are you being called to make? Creativity and intuition come from the same sacred place. They occur when we find ourselves flowing with the rest of life. Creativity and intuition come from the same sacred place. Mm -hmm. Creativity and intuition. They occur when we find ourselves flowing with the rest of life. Earth is renowned as a planet of manifestation and creativity, and yet so many of us have forgotten how to create. Cosmic Batman. <laughs> That's hilarious. Somewhere along the way, we stopped seeing ourselves as artists, as creatives, as poets. Yet, to be human is to be creative. Creativity is a part of your true nature. Perhaps you're being called to surrender to a creative project, such as a new business or a book. Or perhaps you're being called to weave beauty in your home or in the way you cook. Regardless of the end result, you're being called to express yourself through your creativity. To surrender to the creative projects that both scare and excite you. To find a way to weave beauty back into your everyday life. For when there's creativity, spirit and soul are present and the world needs those qualities now more than ever before. <laughs> that resonates. Oh, trust your intuition, your creativity. You are being called here for a reason bring that creation to life. We will all support you and love you. I'm gonna read Star Ancestors next because it's literally the next page. Hidden secrets, lost wisdom, look a little deeper. The ancients knew much more than we do. Excuse me. I publish a moon planner, but there have been problems with the publisher and it's really late getting to me. <gasps> I'm so excited about it. Ooh, I want one. <laughs> Good news. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. 
Danke. Okay. Um, the ancients knew much more than we do about our connection with the stars. Their pyramids, temples, and other places of worship, created in precise alignment with the stars, exist in all corners of the world. What is this ancient wisdom? Ooh, I'm sorry. I literally hear Pikachu both times. Pikachu! <laughs> so cute. Aww, I love you, Pikachu. Um, what if this ancient wisdom is available for you to uncover now? You're being called to think and listen with your ancient heart and soul, to tap into the part of you that remembers and knows. All ancient secrets are whispered forever in your ears. All mystic knowing blooms in your heart. All potent power pumps through your veins. Oh snap! Hi Robin, I was just thinking about you. Welcome in. You're being invited to step into your ancient knowingness, to be held by the remembering of the star ancestors, to look a little deeper. If you're feeling stuck, you're being called to do something different, to change your point of view. Mm. Creativity happens when we put together two things that don't belong when we do the unexpected. So often a creative solution is right in front of us, but because we think the same thoughts and act the same way, we miss what's in the open. You're here to remember and uncover ancient secrets and transmissions, technology and wisdom that are so needed on the planet right now. To unlock your soul's memories on a of a time when we lived in harmony on earth, and one day we will again. I'm so good. How are you? This is my first day off in a couple days, a few days now. I'm so grateful for it. Much needed. <laughs> How are you? You survived. We survived. Uh, place the card on the portal of your heart and whisper the following. Star ancestors, I am ready to remember ancient mysteries and secrets from deep within. I am ready to remember ancient mysteries and secrets from deep within. Mm, that's beautiful. That is the star ancestors card there for you. Center stars. <laughs> just got off. Oh good, I'm so glad you're off work, yay. So thankful, yes, we need to just rest and recover. I took a hot bath last night that was heavenly and then uh, I slept in today and now it's snowing outside and beautiful and we're just hanging out at home. It's super relaxing. And uh, yes, I love that card. And the last card, so this is, you're here to remember and uncover ancient secrets and transmissions, technology and wisdom that are so needed on the planet right now to unlock your soul's memories of a time when we lived in harmony on earth and one day will again. I know, do you want to see it? It's so cute outside right now. I'll show you in a minute after I finish this reading. A new earth. A new earth, my loves. Yes, dear. You want some snuggles? You want some kisses? Oops. Oh, 
Okie dokie, sorry y'all. Yeah, I'll show you the snow, it's so beautiful. All right, and the last card is a new earth. It's happening, keep holding the vision. Don't give up now. You're closer than you think. I know it's hard to hold the frequency of a new age when it feels as if so much is crumbling and so many are losing faith. This is your sign that you are facing the right direction. You got this, girl. You got this. You're a priestess. You're the priestess of Wonderland. Don't forget it. This is your sign that you're facing the right direction. You have a great gift in being able to see the potential of things before they even exist. Tend to the new seeds, dream them into existence. Tend to those new seeds, dream them into existence. See them as already happened. Imagine the outcome, imagine how you're gonna feel, be in that space of feeling like it's already accomplished. We already have everything we need it's all within and it starts here first it's never going to be here none of this could have been here if it was not here first don't lose faith now keep your focus fixed planting new seeds and bringing about a shift of the ages is no easy feat it requires extreme trust and a radical vision. If you pull this card, it's the reminder to have faith. You, cho you chose to be here to be a part of this global shift. Whether you're bringing, about it, bringing it about through prayer and meditation, through working on a new project, job, or creation, there it is again, keep going, it's happening. Don't give up now. The world needs more dreamers like you, more people with hope in their hearts. The road ahead may not be plain sailing. Ushering in a new age in times of change never is. You're being encouraged to remember that what you've been working toward for so long is almost here. Don't question yourself now. Don't waver. Dig your devotion deep. For if you do in the not too distant future, You'll be able to sit back and watch all that you've so carefully planted and nurtured grow and bloom. It's possible. Keep focusing on your dreams. You are so much closer than you think. And the Starseed Soul inquiry is how can you keep holding the vision? Ah. 
<sighs> wow, absolutely lovely, everyone. And you're so welcome, Priestess. I hope that resonated. Sending you so much love and light. Sending you all of the motivation and creativity and all the drive that you need to get there. Remembering that you're on the right path, you're doing what's needed. Every bit of the work that we're doing is so necessary for this evolution of the planet. And just stepping into this place of unconditional love, non-judgment, peace, compassion, this new era that we're bringing about it, first within um, and as so within, also without. Sending you so much love. I release your energy to you with love and light. Thank you so much for letting me read to you. What a blessing. <laughs> what a blessing. <gasps> Thank you so much. Thanks, Kat to Jelly. I'm glad you're here. I have to put my hand up so that I can see your names. <laughs> this is the silliest way. I'm going to have to figure out um, what works best for streaming. I kind of miss the... Um, I think I must... Uh, I kind of miss streaming on Twitch almost. But these the video, I think, looks clearer. More clear here. Clearer? I think that's the word. <laughs> clearer? More clear? I think they both work, actually. That's kind of odd. Um, anyway, now that we've chatted another hour, <laughs> see who's on, eh? See who's still on. Oh man, someone had come on earlier that I said, and now they're not online anymore. Oh, well, that happens. <laughs> it's part of streaming life. All right. Well, I do want to read a little bit. Um, and if anybody, I think, um, Daddy Baby, if you're still here, I know you had asked for a card, I believe. And if anybody else wants a card, I love doing the readings. Um, so yeah, feel free to, um, you know, redeem the channel points and get a card if you'd like, or just ask for one if you don't have. <gasps> Tattooed Robin, thank you for the biddies. Thank you for the biddies. Thank you for the biddies. Appreciate you so much. You're such a blessing. Not necessary at all. You know that though. But so, so just grateful to have your presence here. Um, would you like a reading? <laughs> I'd love to read a card for you, or a few cards. Um, or Oracle Tarot, self-love card. Um, notes from the Universe on Abundance, whichever one you'd like. Um, I'm definitely pulling you an Abundance card. <laughs> and Oracle or Tarot then, I guess is the other option. We've got a Starseed Oracle. Let's do the Starseed Oracle for you. Okay. Your card from the Starseed Oracle deck. We'll turn the brightness down again so we can see this. Thank you, loud narrator. Being so loud. <laughs> Trust the timing. So, I, uh, these beings, cloaked beings walking through some sort of desert ocean. Can see the being moving here to here. Maybe it's separate beings, maybe it's all the same being. 
I love it. The sun shining through the purple pink iridescent clouds. Trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. So often those who feel like they're here for a reason sense that time is running out and they spend their life worrying that they may miss out on their moment. But the only way to miss your life or your moment is to spend your time worrying about missing it. It's never too late to answer a calling and you're never too old. The tides of your life are magnificently orchestrated to come in and out in perfect unison. Don't race ahead and ride a wave that was never meant for you. You'll waste your precious time and energy where instead you could be enjoying your life. Everything has a season and you're being called to trust the one you're in. Don't let impatience, comparison, competition, or paranoia disturb the seeds. It seems that everyone has anxiety these days. Speaking of, let's take a nice deep belly breath. Fill up that belly with air, fill up those lungs, hold it and release in your own time slowly. And another deep breath, filling up that belly and then those lungs. Holding at the top with their lungs full of air. One more sip of air and breathing out slowly. Just feeling how much better your belly feels. Remember that anxiety, depression, these are all things that they found can be um, essentially by retraining our body on how to breathe, we can actually not be anxious. We can not have ADHD. Um, look into NeuroCore, it's really interesting. Um, but they train our body how to breathe and think these focused brain waves and bring us back to the present moment, essentially, through scientific technology. It's really beautiful. It seems that everyone has anxiety these days, constantly scanning for something they might have missed or a possible threat. Keeping our mind and, bo and body pointed in the same direction as our soul is near impossible at such reactive speeds. Right now, you're being reminded to take a deep breath and trust the wave that you came in on, to trust the season that you're in. Time is not running out. There's plenty of time. There's no rush and it's never too late. I love it as well. I think that is a beautiful card for you. And the Starseed Soul Inquiry is how can you trust the timing of your life a little more? Yes. Um, and I also, actually, Louise Hay wants to speak. Louise Hay, Miss, Ms. the queen herself, Ms. Louise Hay. I would like a word. I trust the process of life. I affirm that I am now willing to release the need for any negative situations and conditions. I let go of the past with ease. I trust the process of life. I choose to believe that everyone is always helpful. Therefore, wherever I go in life, people are there to help me. I am safe and secure in my world. These cards are beautiful. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. I love her. She is. She has been such an inspiration in my own healing journey in my life. I have her book right here, which of course you knew I had to buy. I was like, how could I not buy this book? Look at this rainbow heart. I was like, are you joking? You know how many stickers I have of this rainbow heart? Louise Hay, look at this beautiful angel goddess. So she was a victim of, um, not a victim, she had experienced um, a lot of trauma in her life. 
She's experienced a lot of trauma in her life. Author of a best-selling book, Heal Your Body. That's what this book is. You can heal your life. I'm sorry, I got, I got it mixed up. You can, I, author of the best-selling book, Heal Your Body, is an internationally known leader in the New Age movement. Ms. Hayes' key message, if we are willing to do the mental work, almost anything can be healed. The author has a great deal of experience and firsthand information to share about healing, including how she cured herself after having been diagnosed as being terminally ill with cancer. In her frequent lectures, workshops, and guest appearances on the media, Dr. Hay offers practical steps for dissolving both the fears and the causations of diseases. As a metaphysical counselor, she devotes her life to assisting others in discovering and using the full potential of their own creative powers. Her students are able to clear away the blocks that keep them from robust health and from having the life they want, from having what they want in life. Hey, House is having a crazy sale this weekend, been trying to avoid this. I got this um, secondhand. This is from Discover Books. It was like $1.99. And then like, two dollars for shipping so super highly recommend that website sorry about my face being all up in, in their business hopefully the mic didn't just make anything go off i apologize um but yeah i do love hay house that's where i got all of these decks actually recently i got three or four new decks because they were having a sale about a month ago um, and i haven't bought new decks for years so i thought I should, you know, this was $6 to have a self-love, How to Love Yourself by Louise Hay. I was like, for $5, this is so worth it. How could you not? Totally worth it. Anyway, I haven't read too much from those, but um, when I get the inclination to do so, I do love pulling a, a few of those cards. She has got some wonderful wisdom. Um, did you, a tattooed Robin, did you want a clarifying cards? Oh, you have to go to a friend's giving. Oh my gosh, good. I hope, I hope that that resonated. Thanks for being here. Um, enjoy your friend's giving. We love friend's givings around here. You're so welcome. Thank you, beautiful, for being here. So much gratitude for your continued support and your love, for being here, for chatting, for hanging out. We love you. Okay, stay well. Have a great time. We appreciate you. Uh, well, that was lovely. Would anybody else like a card? <laughs> you are amazing. You seriously are. Like, I'm so glad we connected. As soon as we connected, I was like, I love her. <laughs> like, just in chat. It was just like, yes, instantly. Um, so thank you so much. Yay. Oh, hi, Divine. Yep, you agree. Yes, good. <laughs> it was a mutual. Okay. Mwah. Love you. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. We won't, we won't do anything fun without you, I promise. What's up? Is he playing guitar? Is he rocking out? He is rocking out. Is that doggy barking? Dog? Uh, she dancing. That robot can dance and he's playing the tambourine. <laughs> All right, we, let's see. I do want, I did want to read a bit. Yes. I'm gonna read one chapter of this book as well. Um, I don't know if, I don't know who's still here who might want a card. If you do, uh, Daddy Baby, if you're still here, I'm so sorry that was an hour ago when you redeemed your card. <laughs> If you're still here, let me know. I'd be happy to read one. Oh, I don't see you in the chat. That's okay. No worries at all. Thank you all for being here, for your lurks, for your love, for your support and love. It means so much to me. Um, I hope you all wrote your gratitude list. I know I did. Um, and I am ready to... Actually, it's already 416. We'll raid over to someone. We'll see if people are raiding. Or we'll see who's who's hanging out, who we can raid over to. Oh, it was Yo Erica getting her hair cut? We missed the haircut. Oh my gosh, Yo Erica's back on having lunch. <laughs> That's hilarious when I say that, and she's back on. Or we could watch spooky games with um, 
Mr. Chris. <gasps> Bio Man is on. Oh my God, we're raiding. We gotta go. <laughs> Just got on, I think. Bio Man won. Oh my gosh. Yes, you guys. Wow, perfect timing. I love you all. We're gonna raid over there. Um, and yep, is that where you're going, honey? Yeah, we're on. We're on it. I didn't realize that. I'm so glad they're back. Bio Man won. No, I don't think it matters if it's capitalized or not. Oh boy. Oh, one card. Oh, cuddly. I would love to. Yes. I haven't typed it in yet. What's wrong? Oh, did it, you want to watch this one? Oh, Minecraft story mode. Oh, this looks good. I'll watch it with you. Would that be good if mommy watched it too? We snuggled. Yeah. Oh, you got stinky in there. No. Smells no, stinky. No. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. No. Nope. Nothing in there. You're right. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Um, okay, one card. How you doing? Huggelina's in here. Hi, sweetie. Bubba, you can press play. I'll be right here and then we'll watch it together. Okay? Okay. Okay, press play. Good job. I'm right here. I'm right here. I'll watch it with you. And you've got Teddy, too. Don't forget Teddy. And Monster. Whoa. Hey, I'll have them both here soon as Chris to help you pick. Hey, Helen? You get to choose. This is so cool. Teamwork makes the dream work. Nailed it. Pretty good, right? Oh, come on. The king's student has become the master, and the kids will have their day. Oh, look at that one looks good. Wow. She a cowgirl? Is that a mommy? It's a wowie. Wow. Oh, it's a wowie? A maui? A kitty? Oh, that is a kitty. Yum. Does that look yummy? Okay, sorry for the delay. All right, yes, Cuddly, let's see. Do you have a preference for Starseed, Oracle, or um, the Angels and Ancestors? And thank you, I didn't say thank you to Robin. Let me release Robin's energy back to her with love and light, sending her so much positivity, love, self-love, and abundance, everything. You have both of them. Or I do have Mystic Monday's Tarot as well as um, the White Sage Tarot. I just have been leaning towards the Oracle cards lately. Find a lot of beautiful messages and everything, of course. Um, as well as the um, Health and Wellbeing by Abraham Hicks cards. I've got Notes from the Universe on Abundance. <gasps> I love them. I love my Mystic Mondays tarot deck. That was one of it's one of my favorites. I love the colors. Oh, so fun. That's great, Divine. I love that. Are you gonna start streaming, Divine? Do you ever stream? Do you read tarot for people or are you just getting into it? I don't know that much. I'd love to know you more. Um and then we will get we'll get our raid on. Get ready to raid. Yeah, it shouted at me in Yellow Springs. <laughs> the deck, you were like, I can't walk away from you. you I hear you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I do that and I literally cannot tell you why. All right, cuddly, cuddly de prin. What messages, angels, ancestors, guides, what messages do you have? 
Oh my gosh, I've never pulled this card. Messenger. Messenger. Serious energy bringing harmony and balance. Ah, precisely. The only card that begins with an M in the whole deck. Serious energy bringing harmony and balance. You are part of a lineage of souls who have dedicated their lifetimes to the upliftment of the planet. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, my friend just messaged me to let me know Bioman streaming. To, yes, their lifetimes to the upliftment of the planet, to returning time and time again to seed the light, the crystalline ones, the ones who are here to plant the sacredness of life back in, to honor both sacred feminine and masculine, to usher deep reverence back in. Many ascended masters are thought to be connected to the energy of Sirius. Often appearing as a shade of blue, they hold the frequency of pure love and are here to help the masculine and feminine exist in harmony, to ensure greater balance, to help us see that we're all connected and that masculine and feminine energies exist within us all. You're being called to bring about this balance and harmony between the masculine and feminine, to be a guardian of harmony and balance on the earth. Think of the whales traveling around the globe. We read whales song earlier. Oh, go get some food divine. Yet. Um, the whales, yes. Think of the whales traveling around the globe, sharing their love through healing vibrational song. Their unique notes send balance and harmony to every corner of the planet. A rebalancing of the masculine and feminine is occurring worldwide. It's a resurgence of the sacred within us all, a returning of the sacred union within, a rekindling of heaven and earth. You can begin to bring harmony and balance by creating it in your own life. The ripples will flow from there. You can honor and balance the sacred masculine and feminine energies within yourself and others. How are you being called to bring harmony to your life or the planet? How are you being called to honor the sacred masculine and feminine within you? I love that. I feel like you are absolutely a messenger here, Cuddly. You are here to help us embrace that, that joy, that love, that giddiness, that connection that feels so real and raw that isn't like forced or, um, I was thinking about this today actually when I was thinking back to last night and I thought, wow, I just felt like I could be so open with my heart and share exactly how I was feeling and, um, and feel it all and just enjoy it and like no words needed to be said right there was just that instant connection of just like that love that we all shared together that moment of just like pure bliss and it was like ah oh, yes this is how we're meant to connect with each other like this is what it's to be like so thank you for reminding me of that um thank you so much for being here for encouraging me last night for being there we are going to raid over to bio man um because I do not want to miss, um, I don't want to miss anything. So I love you all so much. Um, I didn't know they had a subscriber only chat. Hopefully, we'll see how it goes. Oh, hydrate, thank you, Blue Rebel. I'm gonna go grab some tea actually now. That's a great, great point. Thanks for reminding me as usual. Um, so we'll, we're gonna jump in here. I'm gonna open um, Bioman's stream right now just so I have it up. Oh, Cosmic and Bioman together. So exciting. All right. I love you. You are so precious. Thank you so much. Much love to you. Much love to everyone here. Thank you for letting me read to you. I release your energy back to you with love and light. May all the abundance, all the joy be yours blessings so many blessings to each of you i love you all so grateful that you spent your time with me let's go meditate let's go sit in peace together and uplift the planet as one 
I love you, priestess. Sorry that we're taking off. <laughs> we got a raid over to my friend. Please join our community. Join Cosmic Unwind, Bioman. Join us in meditation and learning to love ourselves deeply from, from a place of unconditional love and join in that space of pure compassion. So much love to you. Bye.